I knew that we had to program it because I knew our audience would really connect with Carol King's story and Carol King's music. But then, yes, choosing to be the person to direct it is the next step or next level. And for me, the reason I wanted to direct it was I was really drawn to a story about a female artist who finds her voice, both personally and professionally. The musical, it really only tells a very short period of her life. It drives up to tapestry. But what's so interesting about that piece is that she she really shares her own worldview in it. And you can hear that in the songs now. They're so individualized, they become universal. If people know Carol's journey really well, like they've listened to her autobiography or they've read her autobiography, what they will discover is that the writers of this musical have taken themes and ideas from her real life and have dramatized them. So it's not all exactly the way it happened. If they don't know Carol King's life, I think what they'll be surprised by is how many songs she wrote. Like every song comes up and you think, Carol King wrote that song and that song and that song. And the fact that she started having hits at the age of 16, we've started using understudies post-COVID. Their understudies in the past have been offstage understudies and these performers will actually have their own track on stage as well as understudy the other roles. I think it's one of the biggest casts at the Arts Club since Les Miserables. When you're directing, the more people on stage, the more organized you need to be. When I'm directing musicals and also when I'm directing opera, like my two things are to be really organized and be positive. And if you have those two things, then you can get through a huge, huge show in a short amount of time.